My Lord, Sirs, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the North Yorkshire Lord Lieutenant Certificate presentation for 2014. <coughs> the Lord Lieutenant Certificate is an award in recognition of the exceptional service by the volunteer. It is indeed to supplement honours bestowed by Her Majesty the Queen in the New Year's and Birthday Honours list and is in President's ranks just after such awards. The certificate is in the form of an illuminated scroll signed by the Lord Lieutenant of the County and it is awarded of high merit of which the recipient may be justly proud. The Lord Lieutenant Certificate may be awarded to any <coughs> serving volunteer of whatever rank for exceptional service over the period of time. To be eligible as an individual must be serving as a volunteer of the Reserve Forces on the 1st of March in that year in which the volunteer is recommended. The award is not intended as a routine, regional or long and faithful service in the Reserve Forces, but the criterion of exceptional service in the principal factor for which this award is presented. Staff Sergeant Jed Darlington has acquired a multitude of skills and experience during his career which underpins his outstanding enthusiasm and commitment towards the Army Reserve. He has participated in many diverse activities, <coughs> ranging from EOD clearance, mass graves investigation, ambulance commander, close protection work, and working in the quartermaster's department. His conduct, bearing and professional manner is exemplary and recognized by all. Indeed, his positive attitude, selfless commitment, and infectious enthusiasm make him an ideal role model to all ranks. With his wealth of experience, coupled with his maturity and thought and action, he is the epitome of a senior NCO in the reserve, and any unit would be fortunate to have him within their ranks. His contribution to unit activities has resulted in recognition, and indeed accolade beyond the bounds of the unit. During a unit multinational exercise, Rhino Serpent, in September 2012, his contribution led him to receive an award from the commanding officer of the United States 212th Combat Support Hospital for his exceptional contribution. In summary, Staff Sergeant Darlington's consistent reliability and outstanding professionalism has justly earned his exceptional reputation both within and out with the unit. He doesn't expect recognition for his work and was rather overwhelmed by the presentation from the American unit on Rhino Serpent. These characteristics contribute towards making him an excellent nominee for more formal recognition. Staff Sergeant Darlington is a worthy recipient of the award of the Lord Lieutenant Certificate in every respect. Sir, Staff Sergeant Darlington. something listening to those citations. Absolutely wonderful. Think of the uh, contribution that you've all made. Uh, uh, that's phenomenal. So we, I think we all feel very privileged to be here for, for this event and this occasion. Uh, and indeed you've got, you've got a wonderful group of VIPs here to watch this. You've got the Lord Mayor of York thank you very much for coming, and the Sheriff of York, and indeed the High Sheriff, and so you couldn't have a grander group of people to, <laughs> to witness this, and um, uh, it's wonderful you've all agreed to come. Uh, well, we've really heard, you explained about, and it, uh, there's a good little piece on the brochures that you all have, really explaining about how this all uh, comes about. But it's, and it's much more than just you were saying. It's not just a question of having done uh, a large number of years. It's actually going much further than that and uh, contributing much more than would, would be expected, really. So they, they are terribly, terribly special things. Uh, 
and uh, the, 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 reserve, the reserve forces in the, I think are going to become even more important in the years to come. And he was saying you know, that the, the, the numbers are going to uh, increase enormously in the next few years. And um, so all the support that we can all give is, is tremendously important. Reservists can expect to be mobilized for operational deployments within three years of joining uh, and will probably continue to be deployed on a regular basis in the future. In recent times, 2,000 reservists have deployed each year, including 120 each year from Yorkshire and the Humber, our area here. And um, it, that, that's, that's really going to, going to increase. And even with the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan, there will continue to be a need for our reserves, either abroad or indeed at home, as we saw during the floods. And the reserves did a tremendous lot of <coughs> wonderful work during that time. We owe a great debt of gratitude uh, to all our highly professional volunteer reservists. And we're, we're paying great tribute to uh, a, a number tonight who really represent uh, uh, the whole body of reservists. And we also thank and pay tribute to their employers and very, very importantly, the families. And we heard about one family that does a great deal uh, uh, to, to support. Uh, and without their support, your ability to carry out these duties would be well nigh impossible. There are apparently 120,000 cadets from all three services in the United Kingdom. Uh, and 9,000 of those are in Yorkshire and Humpside. Is that right, Ian? Is that the right? It's about right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was told. And supported by 20,000 adult volunteers. So thank you to the officers and adult instructors of our cadet forces for the outstanding work that, that you all do give unselfishly of your time, your spare time, in order to support the, 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 the youth in our area. And, <clears throat> and I, I don't think there's anything more important that you can do than support the youth who are the future. And um, uh, I've seen cadets, and I've, and I've had this wonderful Lord Lieutenant's cadet who's up then here tonight. And, and um, on occasions when I've met the new Lord Lieutenant's cadets, uh, uh, the parents will say, you know, until my son or daughter went into the cadet, uh, became a cadet, they were very shy. And one told me that if anyone came to the door, her uh, daughter hid behind the sofa. And there she was giving this presentation, uh, uh, just like I'm being given tonight, and um, you know, full of confidence. So, it's a great thing to uh, uh, become, uh, to be in the cadet movement and to become a Lord Lieutenant's cadet. So, wonderful for, for the, young, uh, the young of this country. And indeed, I think you were saying, yeah, it enables them to become the good citizens of tomorrow, whether they continue in the armed services or not. So, wonderful, wonderful movement. And, and you're all, of course, very much supported by your families with um, car journeys and all sorts of uh, uh, all sorts of things. So, so, so it really is an evening of, uh, as you were saying, yeah, it's an e e evening of celebration and of thanks, enormous thanks to everyone involved, and not forgetting the four Yorks band in the background there makes a great difference having. Music uh, to our meeting. So thanks so much for coming and uh, entertaining us. And also thanks to 
Brigadier Rebel Bibby uh, for allowing us to be here tonight. I was actually with uh, uh, Brigadier Rebel <coughs> earlier today in Catrick at uh, uh, Phoenix House. of messages of goodwill tonight. Um, so I think that's really the end of what I want to say. I know we're going to be given something to eat, which is nice, and that'll give us a chance to uh, uh, talk uh, and, and for me to meet everyone. And we've also got a wonderful photographer somewhere in the back, Adrian, who uh, will be happy to do any number of photographs. And, um, Taken in the 15 years I've been Lord Lieutenant. He's taken four or five thousand pictures of me, I think, and they're all good. <laughs> 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 so anyway, I, mean, I just finally would like to congratulate everyone and say, say what a special evening this is for all of you, and indeed all of us who, who are here to, to witness and to hear those amazing citations. So thank you all very much.